Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hello, folks. I'm Bob Shop Physical Therapist. Brad Heineck, Physical Therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, you know, Bob. what you do. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so Brad's going to show us how to buy the perfect massage gun. Yeah, massage guns are very popular, and for a good reason. It's because they work very well, and there's a lot of them out there. And you want to make sure you buy the right one for you. Make sure it's not too big, not too small, and it's going to last a long time. Brad's, We're going to show you all that. Brad's got kind of a mad scientist version of how he's going to test the gun. Not at all, Bob. Actually, <laughs> it's uh, from my 10 years of working on electric motors before I got into this. I know how to load test electric motors. I understand them. And this is professionally done. And speaking of massage guns, we are going to give away the X6. Yes. Um, you just go to bobbrad.com and go to the giveaway section and you can sign up. It's easy peasy. And you can have one of these in your hand yeah. by the end of the month. So just watch this video, and you're going to learn all the specs that is going to be important for you to make sure you purchase the proper gun. Uh, so what I'd like to talk about, first of all, is like I said, uh, we go the extra step. We promote some massage guns, but we know they work good because we like how they look. They like how they work. And uh, like The company I we work with is very reliable and yeah. Very good on quality control. Right. And I certainly didn't trust them at first. So no, I, I actually made this device to load test the gun, which means we're going to test it under a heavy load and leave it run for a long period of time and find out how it responds. Is it going to last or is it going to, you know, fail? Can you so, imagine living with this guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should see my garage. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, actually, I, I was an electric motor uh, mechanic, we re rewound motors, built them in the industrial world. So see this spring, this is going to be the load. So yeah, Bob, can this, you... This thing really, I mean... Push! Oh my God, it is really uh, wound. I mean, It's an aggressive, aggressive spring. spring yeah. So we're going to use that to load test this one of our guns, and I'm going to put That's it in there. That's putting a lot of load on that gun. Yeah. Bob, you want to talk to him about yeah. the uh, first, other than this, All what right. the next first, thing you look for? Uh, you know, you want to look at the Amazon ratings. And, oh. you know, that's the greatest thing about Amazon, I think, they came up with. is the, the, These ratings that are negative and positive. Yep. And if they have a lot of ratings, you know a lot of people bought them. And you can be fairly certain that the ratings are correct. So we got like 4.8 to 49 ratings on our, our guns because they are good guns to have. All right. The Bob, thing. Just wait, Bob. You know, I'm going to get All this right. out of here, but right now I've got this spring. I'm collapsing. Yeah, I really put a lot I'm of putting a on. lot of pressure on it. And now that I can just leave that pressure on it, I'm going to set it over here, get it out of the way, and we'll leave it run for a while. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about is amplitude. Now, this is very important to a lot of people, or travel, or head movement. We're talking about how much the head percusses. So, if you look at this one, actually, you can see that it goes in and out. See the distance that it travels? That one goes 10 millimeters. Right. Okay. Which uh, is pretty good. Right. Uh, other ones go... This one's less. Yep, 6 millimeters. Right. Uh, and then this, these lighter ones, the smaller ones, go about... Two or three. I actually sure. haven't measured it in some right. of the specs, but it's less. We have one coming out that's, that's going to go be the monster. 16 millimeters, right. which if you're a, th a small person or a thin person, you do not want to go that heavy. Even with this one, I want, if you were elderly yep. and you had osteoporosis, yep. I would probably stick with something like this. Exactly. And if for like us or the average person, six millimeters. Right. Somewhere in that range is going to be more than adequate to get into those muscles. Right. Let's talk about stall force, Brad. Right. You want to show? You bet. Uh, so stall force means how much pressure can you put on the gun before it stalls? Yep, exactly. So you get it moving. I'm pushing it as hard as I can. Yeah. Now, there's ratings on stall force. Uh, we have this small one it has a pretty good stall force of 13 kilograms. In other words, 29 pounds. I never am able to shut it off. Right. And then our, our bigger one has 40. Where is the big one? Right there. This okay. one goes 44 pounds. 40, and this is 29. Right. 
or 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. So if you're in that 30, 30 pounds and you're an average person or a thin person, you got more than enough stall force. If you're a big, bulky person, uh, heavier, you got more soft tissue. You really tissue, want to deep, get deep into those muscles? Yeah, then you want to get up into that 40, 44. And I have a feeling our big one's going to be up closer to 50. We'll find out right. when they give us the specs. So, that's so all of our oh, massage guns come with at least five different heads. Right. And we got the field goal. We got the bullet. <laughs> We got the air filled, which is yeah. very popular because you can go right over bones. Yeah, and it and won't it's hurt. It's not going to bother you. Mm -hmm. Brad likes the round one because he comes in from the side yep. instead of going right on the muscle. We've got complete I ha videos. I actually showed uh, my daughter Jamie last night. Oh, good. That because she, she was grateful. Well, she was uh, <laughs> wanted to do it on her foot, but it was too oh, much. Yeah. I said, go from the side. Yep. Get that um, angle on yep. there. All right. How about battery life, Brad? Battery life. All of these are will last a minimum of one and a half hours up to three hours, but that's loaded. That's with you working them. Right. Working them on your muscles. If you they just work, leave, they work a long time. Yeah. If they freewheel, they go much longer They're than that. They're lithium batteries, right? You know, I gotta check into Some that. Some of them are. Yeah, I they're, know that. They're good batteries. I'm more concerned about how long are they gonna work loaded. I know loaded. that Alex said at one point that we had the same battery that that Tesla uses. Oh sure, yeah. not Nikola, but the yeah. Tesla car. Yeah, <laughs> uh, these are all brushless motors. You should get one that is a brushless DC motor. They last much longer. They're much more efficient. I'm not even if I'm not even sure if they make brush lens anymore oh, sure. but if it's if it doesn't say brushless on there do not get it um sound level it's important it is we've had some that we were testing that were real loud and irritating yeah i mean it's no fun you can't watch tv right and do this if it's and loud. that's what i do i sit there and watch tv while i'm massaging myself yeah. So decibel wise, they should be a rating on there for decibels these are all at 55 which means 55 is good if you're getting up, you know, higher than that in your 70, 80 or whatever, look for one that's quieter unless you don't care about the noise. Most people do. Right. Appearance wise? Appearance is what you like. Right. You know, it's a personal thing, you know, color, appearance. You know, it's funny. That. This is a small one, but I really like it because you grip it well. It's yep. really functional. Yep, it is. And uh, some people talk about these are too heavy. Right. Well, for, for travel, you're, this right. one is much easier to travel right. with. Than this baby. Just to, you can explain to the airport. It's not a real gun. It's <laughs> it's a, a massage gun. gun. Give it, let them uh, do a little By massage. Way, the they'll, plane. they'll be great <laughs> filling this. Oh, I need to yeah. take this away that's from you. Right, that's right. That's right. Be massaging all You'll the way see over. See it again. <laughs> uh, Tanner, can you hear that thing working out there? Yeah. So is it annoying? No. <laughs> not any more annoying than us. Yeah, I should have closed the door. Anyways, <laughs> there is one other thing that you really need to be yeah. aware of. And there is something called the auto shutdown time. Yes. Now, all of them that we sell have a 10 minute. Right. If you're working with it for 10 minutes, it will automatically shut down. Like sometimes I'm massaging myself and I'm watching TV yep. and time gets away from me and all yep. of a sudden it shuts down. But I hit the button and it starts right up again. Right. It lets you know that it's been going that long. Right. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, we just had a shutdown. Yeah. Now you can hear it. Yep. So. Uh, the other thing is that if you overload these or the batteries are start to go on low, then it will turn off too, but it'll turn right back on. So don't get worried. It's not a problem with your massage gun. You start seeing smoke come out. Right. That's the way they're built. Right. So, and you'll see on the better guns like these, they have little holes air, in here. Like, yeah, yep. air vents. And almost. that's for cooling of the motor. So, you know, don't cover that up. Right. You know, make sure right. it stays open. Good point. And uh, that'll be very helpful. So, again, it all depends on if you're a big, muscular, or a heavy person and you're chunky, you want to get in deeper, get the bigger gun with the more travel, right. the better, the higher stall force. And, and Brad, I think I, you would concur that I'm very proud of the quality of our oh. guns. Well, absolutely. You know, I wouldn't have gone through all the effort right. to make something to load test it properly and uh, find out. Uh, it, it's just fun for me when you know you have something you're proud of. Are you going to bring him back in or not? Yes, yes, yes. So again, uh, all of our guns come with at least five heads. I think this one maybe has six even. 
Yeah, one, uh, two, well, well, there's four there. Well, there's five here. Oh, I guess it is. But, only... but it does have a little holder. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we this one passed the test. We got the auto sure. shut off here. And uh, life is good. So keep that in mind. You're going to buy the right massage gun. And, of course, look at the warranty. You know, if you, you should buy, have a one year. Yeah, if you buy warranty. an inexpensive gun, you're going to know it right away. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, My nephew bought a gun. Yeah. He said it was just junk. Did he get a... Did he get it back? No, get it, no. Like you, you can get a refund. Ours will. You just if you're not happy yeah. with it, it's not working. Uh, get a hold of us. We will re. You know, yeah. Get you a Brad new will one. Brad will pay for pay for it, right? Yeah. Well, no, you'll get, you'll get <laughs> a new one. You know that's a good question. But we've had almost no problems right. in, in the couple of years we've been selling this. Exactly. So it's not an issue because we test them. Be careful and have, have fun with your massage have gun. on the back. And one thing about these is Bob. We can right. fix just about no, anything, anything except, except for a broken heart. But these aren't helping. Don't put it on your heart. Don't jerk this for the broken you heart. You can do deal. your chest, but not your heart. Oops. Darn. All right. All right. Be Thanks careful. For